Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Umberto Guida. Approaching his 20-year mark as an actor, the still fresh-faced Nicolas Gonzalez has really found his stride, both professionally and personally. His new role as father and husband has really enhanced the spirit of his work and the roles he's chosen. In his latest flick, Nicholas plays a sheriff, Nico Reynoso, in the film Pray for Rain. It tells the moving story of a farming town facing the drought in the Central Valley, California. The film also stars legendary comic Paul Rodriguez, who has also shown support for issues like farm workers' water rights. And we get to hear more about it right here on Latin Nation. Hi, I'm Nicholas Gonzalez, and I'm here to talk about Pray for Rain. It's a new movie coming out from ESX Productions about the water rights in the Central Valley and the drought that's been devastating California over the past few years. There are other fertile fields in our country, places that farm in better synchronicity with nature. What about these families, workers who've given their lives to farming? I think people are aware of the problem in the Central Valley. They know that there's a, a severe drought, especially facing California. But what a lot of people don't realize is that the Central Valley is responsible for growing the food, not only for California, but for most of the United States. And even after historic rainfalls, we're still, still dealing with a drought situation that's going to take uh, decades to repair itself. Be careful. This isn't New York, and they work by different rules here. My character is Sheriff Nico, and he's, you know, he's a good man. He is a former uh, farmer who saw the need uh, to step up and become sheriff when, when no one else would, when his town was facing a lot of intimidation from local gangs and a lot of uh, violence due to the water scarcity and, and the fight over land. He stepped up to protect not only his family, but his community. And he works alongside Annabelle Stevenson to, to uh, solve the murder of her father. I want to talk to you about my father. You know something about his death. I know he died because he wouldn't shut up. Because he refused to sell his land. I think for me it's, it's important to make the work that I do um, have a message. You know, it, it doesn't always, but, um, but ideally and, and where I'd like to see my work go is, is where it fits with something that I agree with in life as well. And this is one of those films, that, something that I, I feel very strongly about. So it, it's so much better to, to have something that you feel this strongly about when you're working on it. For me, uh, working on Resurrection Boulevard was was uh, was in my entree into the business in many ways, and working on something that I felt was important in a groundbreaking series, the first Latino primetime series. So um, I knew the possibilities on you know the, how strong shows could speak for a community and, and how they could maybe change conceptions on it. So that's something that now a, a film like Pray for Rain I, I feel does as well. There have been 11 major land sales around Bellacanejo, but here's the thing. They've all been bought by corporations, not one private owner. Well, why? If the land's not worth anything, why would anyone want to buy it? Ah, that's what we're going to find out. Sometimes there's no mystery, no story. We just have to get on with our lives. And I think when we get outside of ourselves and really try to understand others is the time when um, some of the best work happens. So it's, if anything, being a father and a husband has made me more understanding. I think this is the point after, um, if I can say, the hero, or at least of my own story, right? Um, where things have gone wrong and it didn't look like he was going to overcome and then uh, we're having a lot of wins right now. You know, it's a, it's a very, it's, it, we're on an upswing um, and hopefully nowhere near a climax.